Lesson 23, Blackjack. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new console project and add a new file named main.cpp to it, as we did in Lesson 1. This tutorial brings together material from previous lessons to program the game Blackjack. There are numerous variations, but this version has fairly simple gameplay. In this program, you play as a single player against the house, with one deck of cards which are reshuffled each hand. The house hits on anything less than 17 and stays otherwise. A tie is considered a tie without any special consideration for blackjack, and no variants like insurance, double down, etc. have been included. The full code is about 200 lines and is downloadable from our website, soax.net. The program begins with our header and includes statements for IO stream and C time. Then we have our function declarations, which will be explained as these functions arise. Finally, we get to the main function in line 19. In lines 22 through 24, we seed the random number generator with the time as we showed in lesson 22. In lines 26 through 30, we have a boolean array of size 52 to keep track of the cards that were dealt. We also have a card count and an array of cards to designate the hands of the house and the player. The arrays are of length 12, since any hand with 12 cards is an automatic bust. Line 33 begins the main game loop, which ends at line 113. In line 35, we call a function to shuffle the cards. This function is located in lines 117 through 121, and just sets the entire array to false, to indicate that no cards have been dealt. After shuffling, two cards each are dealt to the house and the player via the getNextCard function. This function is located in lines 163 through 173. For each card, we run a loop until we find a card that was not already dealt. To draw cards, we call the rand function and apply the modulus operator to map numbers to the interval 0 to 51. Recall that we covered arithmetical operators in lesson 21. Once we have dealt the initial hands, we display a message that tells the player that a new hand has started. Then we initialize the player score using the score hand function. That function is in lines 175 through 195. The score hand function runs through the cards in the hand and adds each card's value to the score. Aces are initially added as 1, then a second loop adds 10 for each ace as long as the score is under 22. Next, we enter a loop from lines 53 through 76 that runs once for each time the player is asked whether he would like a hit. Inside the loop, we output one of the cards from the house's hand and all the cards from the player's hand. Then the player is prompted to hit or stay. At this point, the output looks like this. The new functions that we have called are print card and print hand. Print hand cycles through the cards in a hand and calls print card on each one. Print card takes each card, which is numbered from 0 to 51, and translates it into a rank, ace through king, and a suit. We use the modulus to get the rank, and division to get the suit. The rank is outputted as a number 2 through 9, an a for an ace, a t for a 10, j for jack, q for queen, or a k for king. The suit is c, d, h, or s, for clubs, diamonds, hearts, or spades, respectively. So this output shows that the house has an ace of hearts, and the player has a queen of hearts and a queen of spades. Once the player chooses to hit or stay, there are branches for hit, stay, and error. The error condition just prints a message and reruns the loop. At the end of the loop, the player's score is updated, and the loop terminates if the player stays or busts. After the hit loop terminates, we check whether the player has busted. If so, we output that the house wins and print the hands and scores using the print hands and scores function. This function is given in lines 197 through 204 and is pretty straightforward. If the player is not busted, the house takes hits below 17. Once the house is done taking hits, it is either busted, in which case the player wins, otherwise we compare the scores to see whether there's a tie, the player wins, or the house wins. This concludes the lesson.